Hey everybody, welcome back again to our channel. This is Life with Diddy. This is Diddy. I am Ashari. And in today's video, we will be teaching you guys the lead it technique. It's pretty simple. You definitely need to have watched the previous videos, especially the stay command. And also you will have had to teach your dog a command that lets them know um, no without you saying no. And let's get started. How many times have you been cooking or eating food and you see your little pooch under a table waiting for that drop to fall on the floor? So annoying. This video is for you. So we have a no kitchen rule and here with Diddy because he likes to be in the kitchen whenever we're in the kitchen, which I also think that that's a little bit of our problem. We spend too much time in the kitchen. But anyways, nonetheless, he has a no kitchen policy. It does not stop him from seeking out what he cannot have. And it's very frustrating. For the longest time, I didn't know what to do. And then um, I just, I don't know, I taught him to, leave stuff alone just leave it i don't want you to eat that it's not good for you leave it um he doesn't do it all the time and he doesn't do it without me asking all the time but i have seen him do it on his own and i do know that he does it when i ask so i'm gonna hopefully teach you guys how to do the exact same thing so you can get the same results with your own page all right so in order to accomplish this video we will be using fresh pet dog joy turkey bacon for dogs. We already have broken them up into these little turkey bits. And we will also be using his fresh pet food with carrots, beef, brown rice, um, peas, and some other good deliciousness for him. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is I'm going to put a piece on the floor of the turkey bacon. And I'm going to tell him to leave it. Eh. You see that word? Eh. Eh. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. So I don't know if you can tell, but there's bits of bacon on the floor. And Diddy is right here. Now, we're going to get him not to eat them. No. Down. Leave it. Good boy. You don't want him to eat the pieces of meat off of the floor. You actually want to give them to him out of your hand. So he knows not to eat off of the floor. Now what we're gonna do is put it, no. We're gonna put it in front of his face. We're gonna say, wait, wait. Good boy. Even if they wait for three seconds, that's all you really want. Like I was saying, even if they only wait for three seconds, that's a start and that's good enough. And you wanna say good boy and give them a treat, good girl, give them a treat. So I'm gonna put this piece of turkey bacon right here. Wait. Good boy, baby. Good boy. Okay. And you see how simple that was? I just dropped these pieces of bacon on the floor. Told him to wait and leave it. And he's sitting here waiting on me, looking at me for my next command. For me to tell him it's okay for him to get the treat. 
but that's not what I want to do. I don't want him to be treated like Now, don't forget that this is a dog and not a person. Even your kids do not listen to you 100% of the time. So don't get frustrated if somewhere in the middle, things get lost in translation. It's not your fault. It's not your dog's fault. Just take a breather, reset, and come back to it again later. So the next thing in this challenge will be his food. I'm gonna leave the food on the ground, which I've never done this before. I'm gonna do it today in this video. I'm gonna leave the food on the ground and I'm gonna tell him to leave it. And I'm gonna see how long he can resist the food. If he resists it long enough, I'll give him a turkey bacon treat. And if he doesn't, then he gets no treat. And it's that simple. So let's see. Come here. And like with all the other training videos, do not forget time, patience, practice. It will get you so far. It will help you out a lot with teaching your dog and you also learning how to speak to your dog. Because we speak completely different languages and what we want is to get the dog to speak the same language as us. Now, with um, getting them to leave things you want to start off slow, something small. Give yourself a, t a small time frame. If you see that three seconds works great for your puppy, bump that up to 10 seconds. See if you can get them to go to 10 seconds. But don't push them too far where they become frustrated, you become frustrated, and you guys clash. That's not what you want. It'll cause a big problem. You will get nowhere. So I hope that you guys learned a lot. And if you had any questions or concerns, make sure that you leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share the channel if you care. And until the next video, peace. I'm out.